Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to RB Plays Vanilla Minecraft. That's right, folks, we're back in our vanilla world doing all the cool vanilla things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here. Make sure that you hit the old subscribe button. Get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So, wow, it's been a long time. I have been away for a very, very long time. I am so sorry. Uh, life. Life is tough, y'all. I'm, I, I know that most of you know that life is tough, but I, uh, I had to take a break and I took a break of about, uh, probably about six months. So I apologize. I am back. I am here and, uh, I am ready to create some more Minecrafty goodness for you all. We are back in our vanilla world. Um, I'm in the vanilla world today because, uh, 119, 119 dropped this past week and I am super excited about it. Um, we're standing on top of a gold farm on top of the gold farm right now. Um, uh, We've got a lot of stuff to catch up on. First things first, let's take a little let's take a little fly around here real quick. There's a couple of things that I need to show you all because uh, some things happened in the interim in between episodes uh, that I'm just not sure exactly what happened. So uh, if you go back and you check out some of the older episodes, uh, we had done a lot of work over here. We put a I believe it was a a reed farm or a kelp farm over there. Uh, and also a super smelter and all of that good stuff. And it's not, it's not there. Uh, also over here, we had built a, uh, kind of like a building supply area right here. We had a little, a uh, little outdoor yard for storing, uh, different things like bricks and blocks and stuff like that. And we had villagers inside of a, ma you know, masonry villagers inside of a, inside of a, like a store where we could go and trade with them to get our, uh, to get our masonry stuff like like bricks and and chiseled stone and all that other good stuff and it's not there either I'm not sure what happened I I did not have a hard drive crash or anything like that I just I opened up the world and I did move some stuff from one computer to another and I'm wondering if I moved the wrong file but I have looked and 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 I can't find a file where that stuff is there. So um, it's not that big of a deal. We can we can recreate some of that stuff. We might even be able to do something better now that we've got more blocks to deal with and, and all that good stuff. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, we are, uh, yeah, we, we've got stuff to do. I also had laid out some of the roads over here. Um, so that's what these, uh, that's what these black asphalt or black concrete blocks are. They were the paths that I wanted the roads to take. And I know that I had... Uh, I know that I had set it up so that the roads would would kind of look like this, right? And I know that I had taken this on down that way and around that way, but it doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to be there anymore. So definitely some things are not uh, are not as we intended. So um, we'll we'll make some progress on that. We'll get it all built back up. I had built a, an entrance way for that. I had tied this uh, this this road in or this sidewalk in to get to the to the main storage warehouse as well as the RB residence up there, it's gone. So I have started putting that back in. Uh, we've got seven <laughs> seven smooth stone slabs left to, to finish this, so I'll have to make some more of those. Uh, we'll get that stuff done as uh, as necessary as we can. But um, but since it's 119, I figured I would like to see if I can find a couple of things. I'd like to find one thing in for certain. Uh, one thing for certain, and that is I would like to uh, I would like to find one of those new uh, mangrove swamps because. There's some stuff from that mangrove swamp that I am super excited about. Um, the other thing that I want to say is not as I left it, but maybe it is, is the uh, is the courthouse over here. I thought we had made more progress on the courthouse, but maybe we had not. I, I don't know for sure, but we need to get going on getting this thing built. And uh, because we have new blocks in the game from when from whence we left off, uh, maybe changing out the overall plan that I had for this. Uh, just a little bit will uh, will make it, you know, will make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I know, yep, you know what? I know that I had done like some sidewalks and some gardens and and all of that stuff alongside of the courthouse. So yeah, this is this isn't how we left it either. Uh, also, I did notice that the squid farm, our squid farm, is not working, and I think that is because they may have changed the way that squids spawn a little bit. Uh, it used to be that squids just have to be in a river biome, 
but now I think there's also a uh, there's also a parameter that the water blocks need to be over a solid block. So I don't know that having the trap doors in there, uh, I don't know that that works the same anymore either. So if you guys know anything about that, leave something in the comments and uh, and we'll try to get that thing fixed. Not that we need squid ink for you know for very much. I've got probably half of a half of a barrel up there right now so but it's working mob farm this mob farm right here is uh, is working swimmingly uh i just tested it a little bit in an afk session overnight or in not overnight but in an afk session and it's working splendidly all that stuff is uh, is working nicely so i am super super excited about that but as you can see there's a lot of things that we need to uh that we need to fix because they are they are now broken but that is not what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to go on the hunt for a uh, a mangrove swamp. So I guess I'll see you guys in the nether. We need to dig a tunnel and get out to some new uh, to some new territory. So let me gather some blocks. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right. So here we are. We're back in our nether hub. As you may recall, this thing was something that we were super proud of. I still need to finish the top of it. I am not sure exactly what I want to do. I might just mirror this. That might look kind of cool. But anyway, we need to go this way. So I did look up on Chunk Base. Uh, uh, and on Chunk Base, there is Chunk Base, of course, for those of you that are unaware, is a uh, is a way that you can find uh, different uh, different biomes and such in your Minecraft world. I do know the seed. If you'd like to have the seed for this world, I will uh, put it in the uh, put it in the description box down below. But we need to go this way for quite a ways. We actually need to get to uh, on the Z or on the X. We need to get to sixteen hundred, uh, which uh, is uh, is kind of this way. Yeah, sixteen hundred on the Z or on the X and. Uh, Minus 682 on the Z, so we'll go out this way for a little ways, about 1600 blocks, and then we'll go that way a little bit, and uh, and we should be uh, in a good in a good position. But I want to try and keep everything at roughly the same elevation. So uh, minus or at 87 was where the Nether Hub is. We'll probably have to dig a tunnel and all that stuff. But I do want to get out this way. I am making sure to wear something gold so the piglins don't get mad at me. Um, they seem to be fine. Uh, anyway, so let's go this way and see if we can get to about 1,600. Okay. Uh, I think I am now ready to do the thing here. One, two. Uh, yep. And then we'll put that one right there. And we'll do boom, boom. And boom. Do something like this. And then we'll do something like this. And then we'll do something like that. And then we have another portal. And we're at about where we needed to be. We're at just over 6, just over 682, but uh, it's close enough. Uh, I do want to build a little bit of a protective thing uh, to uh, help us in case of uh, gas. Because there's a soul sand valley right over here. And uh, I just had to fight off a couple of gas to, to make it so that I could have a nice safe space, you know. Uh, so, plop, and loop, loop. And plop, 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 plop. Oh. oh, I guess I need to eat too. Because I am hungry. Uh, boom, boom. And then we'll just float. Whoops. Nope, that's not what I want. Not what I want at all. Uh, and then we can go out the, uh, the other side there. So, yeah, okay, I guess we are ready. Let's get our flint and steel. It's not in there. Where's my flint and steel? There it is. I thought I put it in my ender chest. Okay. Anyway, flint and steel, light. This should take us, hopefully, to a mangrove swamp. Let's go. I don't know what time of day it is. I probably didn't bring a bed. This could be bad. It is nighttime, but we are in a mangrove swamp. Hooray! Uh, did I not bring a bed? I probably did not. I did not. I did bring a boat. Hmm. And it's going to be daytime here in a minute. Okay, we're fine. We'll be fine. So we'll get the daytime. Oh, this is something that I was wanting to see right here. So we've got these guys. These are... Uh, these are propagules, mangrove propagules. Those are the those are the saplings for the mangrove swamp, which is very cool. 
Uh, and then over here, we've got the roots, right? And then up there are the logs. So let's go ahead and clear this little space out here. So that should be mangrove roots. Yeah, it is. I hear something. I hear things. There's moss, which is cool. We got lily pads, which we've always had, but some of this, get some of this, uh, some of this wood. Uh, we don't need all of this nether rack. There we go. All right. And then we also have leaves. So what do I have with silk touch? My butter cutter has silk touch on it. So let's see if we can get some of these leaves. And also get rid of some of this. Okay. I have in my possession, I have a shulker box. So let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in here that I don't need. Kill the ghast. Shroom lights. Okay. All right. I'm going to wait until daytime comes and then we will... Uh... We'll explore some more. Okay, so here we are, Mangrove Swamp. Uh, there's some cool stuff here that I need to uh, that I need to see about getting. Number one, of course, were the propagule, propag, propag, what is it called? Propagules. So we got uh, we got propagules. Those are our saplings. I'd like to have some of those for uh, for growing mangrove trees back at the base, uh, back at the uh, back at the tree farm, uh, which we don't really have a great tree farm yet, but hey, you know, it's a start. Now I did see, uh, do I have, yeah, I do have some. So we got bone meal here, right? Uh, one of the things that I did notice that you could do is if you plant, uh, if you bone meal the bottom of a mangrove, if you bone meal a mangrove leaf, you get a propagule on it. And then if you bone meal that, it will grow. So that's pretty cool, right? We can, uh, it used to, you know, with, with the regular saplings, you just, you break the leaves until you get saplings, right? With these, as long as you've got the mangrove leaves, it doesn't matter where they are. Like, I should be able to just put, uh, should be able to just put one of these mangrove leaves right here, right? So that is a, that is a man-made, self-placed mangrove. And look at there, I can grow my own, I can grow my own saplings with that. How cool is that? Uh, I don't think, yeah, if they're not fully grown, then of course you can't. Uh, you can't harvest them, but that's okay. We're like, that's, that is fine and dandy. That is okie dokie. There we go. Uh, now, what else is in here? What else is in this, uh, in this little swamp area? Number one, the next thing that I would like to, that I'd like to get some of, I do have one piece already, I think. Yeah, and that is mud. So mud is cool, right? It makes a really funky sound when you break it. It's kind of it makes a kind of slimy sound, which is awesome. Get some mud. We can use that as a decorative thing. What can we use mud for? Can we craft anything with it? No. Uh, muddy mangrove roots. We can craft muddy mangrove roots. Oh, neat. Okay, so muddy mangrove roots. That doesn't give us anything else that we can build. But what's that block look like? I want. Okay, so it can be broken by hand. That's a neat block. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like poop. <laughs> I don't know. Neat. Okay. But you can break it by hand, which is awesome. Okay, so let's grab our shulker box. We need to remember where this where our portal is, and we'll come back to that as soon as we can. Let's uh, let's get a bird's eye view, maybe. What's the coordinates on this thing? So this is, we'll take a screenshot of that. So 12, 806, 56, 36. All right. 12, 806, 56, 36. Yeah, it's about, that's about where I was. So we'll say 56, 36. Uh, 56, 36. Cool. Oh, no, it's raining. We can't make it stop raining because we don't have uh, we don't have a bed. We can't sleep. It's fine though. All right, so let's take a look and see how big this man. Oh, this is a huge one. Oh no, that's no good. That's no good at all. We've got a thunderstorm lighting the mangrove swamp on fire. What else do we got over here? So we got a savanna right next door. That's pretty neat. How big is this mangrove swamp? Oh, this thing is, oh, you know what? There is a, 
There is a chunk border right there that's a little bit corrupted. Oh, this is a cool cave. That's a cool cave. I don't have any torches, but I do have coal. There's coal right here, so let's go ahead and get our super duper picker, super duper digger. We should be able to make some sticks and get some torches. Cool. Torches. Nice. Water down there. Uh, it doesn't seem like this cave really goes anywhere, which is unfortunate. I should see if I can find a sheep and make a bed. If I can find a sheep and make a bed, then we can make the rain stop, because I don't like thunderstorms. Thunderstorms scare me. They don't really scare me. All right, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find a sheep. I'll come back to you guys momentarily. That is definitely not a sheep. Those, however, are sheep. Come to me, sheepy sheepies. So yeah, so we found ourselves a, uh, a pillager fortress, which is awesome. I have not, whoa, hello. Uh, I haven't seen one like this with the little, uh, with the little things, which is interesting. I also saw a broken portal right over here someplace. Is it right over here? I don't know where it went now. There was a broken portal right here someplace, so I would like to see if I can have that, get the loot from that. Because I hear, I hear tale that the loot tables have changed a little bit as well. Where did I see that broken portal? There's one. That's not the one that I saw, but I'll take it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's grab this. Not that we need a gold block, but let's grab that. Obsidian. Don't really need that. Alright. We need to make a bed. So we need to get back to our poor uh, back to our portal area, which was. I mean, we could just make a bed right here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Nice. I have to make sure we get a take a trip home here pretty soon because we're running out of torches. <laughs> oh no, I just lost my ender chest. Oh, drat. Well, that's no good. That's no good at all. Hmm. You have done bad things, RB. You have done very bad things. You should be ashamed of yourself. Dang it. Was not the butter cutter. Oh well. We can make a new ender chest. We just need an eye of ender. I don't have an eye of ender, do I? I had an eye. What? Oh wait, maybe do I have a do I have an ender chest? Oh, I don't have my ender chest. Dang it. It's fine. Okay. So we need to get to 12806 which is right over here. So I was getting attacked in the village, or in the swamp, right? And I found a village while I was trying to get away. So we're gonna loot this village if we can. Is there anything in here worth looting? I wonder. Another chest, more bread. This is kind of a lame village. You guys should get overrun by, by zombies, I think. Okay, so we are back in the overworld. We have gotten ourselves a uh, a new ender chest. Uh, I did have some blaze rods and some uh, and some ender pearls. Of course, uh, didn't have many. I've got like seven blaze rods and four ender pearls or something like that. But anyway, new ender chest has been acquired. And now what I'd like to do is uh, is I'd like to play around with the uh, with the mangrove stuff a little bit that we found. So we got some mangrove mangrove pop. Propagules, those are the saplings. We got some mangrove roots. We got some mangrove logs. Uh, the mangrove logs are really cool. They they give us a new 
Uh, I, I watched Etho's video on this, and I didn't I didn't know this at the time, but the mangrove uh, the mangrove logs actually give us a new uh, a new a new wood. They, well, they give us mangrove planks, but mangrove planks uh, are are a are a better color. Like they would actually probably go well with some of the brick in these builds that I've got around the city. Um, so that's a that's a bonus. And then also when it comes to the the mangrove log. Uh, it gives you a little bit different texture. Like it gives you kind of that, uh, it gives you kind of that jungle texture without being jungle wood, right? So uh, I kind of like that and I kind of like the ends of this. I don't, what does it look like when it's stripped? Not bad, not bad at all. I kind of like that. Yeah, that could be good. Um, and then, uh, like I showed you in the uh, in the uh, in the mangrove swamp, if you put a leaf out, then you can bone meal it, and you can get uh, mangrove propagules of your own uh, as a as a farm. So let's go over here for just a second. Let's run over to the mob farm. Um, if I was smart, I would have just done this over by the mob farm. But anyway, we'll go over here to the mob farm real quick. We'll grab some bones because we should have plenty of bones in here. Uh, actually, they should be over here. Love the mob farm. Love it so much. Bones. Yes, please. Okay, so now we get ourselves some bone meal, and we can make ourselves some mangrove propagule stuff, right? And we're just gonna... Just gonna come back over here. Uh, and then, uh, let's see here. We've got... We don't have a whole lot of this, but let's go ahead and do a mangrove sapling. And then can we make it grow? Not with that, we can't. Nope. There it is. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, and it even gives you a propagule, like right off the right off the get go. And now it's grown. Nice. See, now that's what I'm talking about. That is a beautiful, beautiful tree. I love that. And if we did it in some kind of water feature, like, I don't know, like maybe right here, it would look even cooler, yeah? Um, but what I'd like to do first is, now that we've got our ender chest back, uh, I would also like to see if I can set up a way that we can uh, that we can automate this. Now, I will be, full disclosure, I did watch a little bit of what Etho had in store, and uh, and he, he does a great job of it. You know, Etho is Etho. Uh, I need a bed. I need a bed because we can't play in the dark. Can't do it. Can't do it. Not gonna do it. Grab this bed and bring it over here with us. That was my last rocket, though, so we gotta have to walk back. But anyway, I'd like to set up a little, uh, a little automation, so to speak. I don't know what we're gonna actually like, how we're actually gonna enclose it or anything like that. I don't have a plan for it yet. But uh, if we set up an automation for this, we'll go ahead and put you there. Uh, we should need a couple of dispensers and then also a couple of observers oh we have two observers good okay uh so let me yeah okay and give me this if we take and set up a couple of observers right so let's just go ahead and take uh you and then you yes and then and then you yep and we take and put one of the leaves like that and we fill you up with bone meal put a stack in there put a stack in there right and then we need to set up a some kind of timer so if we do let's see is it this way no it's not this way well, yeah, we can do it this way. So we can go like that and then like that. And then we can change this. Let's set it up like this. Yeah, look at that. And cool, it's not, and yeah, cool. So it's not going to waste any bone meal while it sits there clicking. I do want to set up a kind of a little turner off or honor thing. So let's get uh, let's get a sticky piston. We have one of those. Yes, we do. Uh, I'm going to put the sticky piston right there. 
and then we'll power that sticky piston. Should have a lever, yeah. And then pull that back. Cool, that'll turn that off. Okay. Uh, then we're just going to need something to do something here to collect these, maybe? Uh, do we have a chest? I don't really have a chest. I'll have to do something different. Uh, if I do... If I do this, if I go like that, and then like that, right? And then if we put another, do I have a button? Do I have a button? Do I have a button? I do, I do have a button. I have a button. I has button. Okay. All right. That's cool. Now what if I put a hopper down? underneath it uh, for right now i'm just going to put a block right there and put a hopper right here yep and then just some just some other block uh we can just do we can just do this and that right this should be buttercup yeah get that back Okay, so that harvests, and it goes in. Nice. All right, let me tweak this a little bit and see if I can come up with a little bit better design. Okay, I think I've got an idea, and I think it's going to work. What I need now is, let's see, I've got some repeater. No, not repeaters. i got some uh, characters. Uh, we need some hoppers. I don't have any hoppers on me. Let's grab a couple of, oh, I do have hoppers. Okay, good. So we need a couple of hoppers. Uh, let's put... need a hopper... here. I want to build a, a hopper timer, right? Hopper clock. Good old Etho hopper clock, right? And then uh, we're going to need a comparator... Uh, let's get some more, let's get some more of this. I think this will be good. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll grab a couple more of these, a couple more of these. We're going to do this. We'll put one like that. And we'll put one nope, right there, one like that, and one like that. And then on top of those, we'll go our comparators. So one there, one there. And then we'll need a block like that and a block like that. Oops. And then we'll need a block like that and a block like that. Some redstone. Okay. And then if we just put some items in here, I don't know. Let's do eight. Okay. If I turn that on. I think that's going to work. Got enough time for one to grow. And then there's a delay. And then it grows another one. I like it. I like it. It's doing the trick. So now, as long as we've got bone meal in here, we're going to be able to get propagules, right? And then we can use the propagules to plant as many trees as we like. I know it's not much, but hey, you know what? Not bad for the first video back after a long hiatus. We'll tidy this up in a future episode, but for right now, I'm going to let this thing run and uh, and we'll be able to get some, uh, some automation going out of this. But anyway, folks, I think that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do hope that you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and the subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below. Below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. We still have a Discord server, so don't forget to stop by there. The link for that will also be down in the doobly-doo. And over there, we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and most importantly, all things Minecraft. Once again, folks, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for your patience in my absence. I have a, uh, I have a wandering trader to go and, <clears throat> quote-unquote, handle. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching.
We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.